What's up everybody? Welcome back to Tiny Crown Coffee. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing the J-Max hand grinder from Easy Presso. The simpler, the better. And that holds true. Uh, I did get it in iron gray. Really, really excited about this grinder. It is an incredible grinder. Now, we of course need the handy dandy unboxing knife. I know it's a wine key, okay? But that's what I unbox things with, okay? Because we don't drink wine, really, that much all the time. A anyway, let's get the uh, plastic open here. I'll say about the box, it's not as high quality as some boxes I've opened, but what's inside of here is actually incredible. The carrying case that they give you is very, very high quality. One of the better carrying cases I've ever seen, personally, for something that is just included as an accessory. You get, you know, your your manual, which, you know, if you watched my last unboxing of the Akaya Lunar, we don't read manuals, so we didn't do that. So we just put that off to the side. As we open it up, you see and you are greeted with a gorgeous presentation of the grinder. It is absolutely gorgeous. I know I just said that twice, but it needs to be said twice. You get this really sweet looking brush to clean the grinder with. This end has a little bit more of a stiff bristle and that end is like the finest brush you've ever felt. I don't know what the material makeup is of them, but I have used them since unboxing this and I can say it does a great job of cleaning. I typically start with that hard bristle side and move over to the soft bristle. As you pull out the grinder, it's very well seated in there. It has no risk of moving around. This case is super, super dense and it will protect it 100%. The weight of the grinder is really satisfying and this silicone-ish material, it's like a rubbery grip. It's really great. It is super pretty. I, I read some comments about the Chinese symbol on there. I gotta be honest, I kinda like it. I'm also indifferent to it. I, I could take it or leave it, but they did it classy. It's not overly branded. It's not contrasting colors, and it just feels really nice in the hand. The weight of it, the metal on the inside, it's just really, really nice. And then you have the magnetic catch bin. And of course we have silicone and I am not a magician, but through the power of editing, I am a magician. Okay, all right. <laughs> I don't know why I cracked myself up so much. <laughs> anyway, you can see the magnetic catch bin. It's really solid on there actually. You have to pull straight down or you have to rock it to the side. So I, I did a little bit of testing on this and I wanted to see is it gonna come off if I move it too much? And really the answer is no. The only way you can get this to fall off accidentally is if you're gripping too low on the grinder. So I was able to get it to come off down there, but if you just grip higher on the grinder where you're supposed to grip, you're not gonna have an issue with the magnetic catch bin falling off. I was shaking it hard. You get this little silicone grip assist I personally put it on there and I wasn't a super fan. It kind of made it almost wider and it's it's a little bit of a wide object anyway. So for me, I prefer without. This I had a ton of fun with. <laughs> you know, I, I just made the sound effects for you since we don't have the audio. <laughs> but I, yeah, I got carried away with that. So I edited out a lot of that. Anyway, moving on to the handle. This handle is very nice. You have the crystal glass-ish thing. I don't know if it's actually glass. It, I think it's acrylic. It is super pretty. It's like frosted. The handle folds very nicely. It feels incredibly solid. I don't feel like there's any danger of the mechanism inside of their breaking. It folds up, it, it folds out. It's just very nicely built. There is a premium feel to the handle. It rotates incredibly smoothly. 
The wood is a really pretty tone. It matches a lot of my walnut. I know this is not a walnut knob, but it matches a lot of the walnut knobs in my kitchen and on my espresso setup. So I was very happy about the color of the knob. It's just very premium feeling. Putting it on, super easy. And this is also really fun and it's incredibly smooth. And uh, it just, it rotates very well. Here I'm showing you sort of how you break down the machine. You press on the bottom and you can unscrew the thumb screws and you can grab the burr set out. Now the burrs are incredibly premium looking. Everything is built like a tank on this thing. And so when you calibrate it for the first time, all you do is you rotate it to zero and you can see there's one dot showing it's above the one. So that means you're at the lowest setting. You can rotate it past there, but it will come off. So you're gonna have to put it back on. I wouldn't recommend it. So to reassemble, you just make sure the spring and that washer in the right place. And I'll say you have to kind of jiggle it a little bit, jiggle it a little, jiggle it a little so you can get it through because the tolerances are very tight. <laughs> then you have your bearing. So you'll grab that. That is, doesn't matter orientation. This, you have to make sure that this washer has those little holes facing upwards so that you get the clicks when you adjust it. I'm pretty sure there's only one way to put that into just pay attention and it's pretty self-explanatory. Obviously the holes go on top and there's a little knob on the bottom of that last like thumb screw and you, you screw that down and you want to make sure that when you're doing this, you're at the zero point. So double check you're at the zero point. You have to press up very, very hard from the bottom. Then you tighten this down all the way and make sure you get this definitely tight because this is setting your zero point and your calibration for the grinder. So again, I double check that I'm just above that one. I press really hard, crank down on the screw until it can't tighten anymore. You don't have to go nuts, but you definitely wanna make sure it's tight. The calibration point is set. I rotate around and then you can see it turns freely. So there you go. Anyway. It is super satisfying to use. I was able to dial in espresso within three shots and the grinds are fluffy. It's not that hard to turn. If you want to slow down the feed rate, you can do it horizontally. Uh, you know, look, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching the video. And also I have a gift for you. Uh, phew.